We are meeting YB Dr. Zulkifli with Ministry of Health today as parents of a child living with spinal muscular atrophy, SMA. My husband Edmund and I founded an NGO, We Care Journey, to support patients and families with SMA and other disabilities. SMA is a progressive muscle wasting and number one genetic killer of babies below two years of age. This is what the doctor told us when my son was diagnosed at one year old in 2011. SMA takes away his ability to walk, to sit without support, affects his simple daily life like scratching his head, using a pen, feeding himself or to play with his brother. Very soon he will need a ventilator to help him breathe. He is bright and not affected cognitively. It is estimated that every week a child with SMA is born in Malaysia. Two years ago, a drug therapy which stops SMA called Spiraza was approved by the FDA and are available today in over many countries for children with SMA. Sadly, our children here in Malaysia is not able to have the access to the drug, which can save, improve and transform their life. As parents in Malaysia, not only are we fighting the disease, we are now fighting for our child's right to life and right to health, to get the medicine to save our children from dying. The SMA community strongly needs MOH support to ensure that children suffering from SMA have access to Pispinraza, just like other rare diseases which are already funded by MOH. We ask for SMA to be included in the Rare Disease Fund allocated recently in the 2019 budget. We applaud and appreciate the effort by MOH to allocate funds to help those who are most vulnerable and with most unmet needs. Our community has been campaigning for two years to have this drug available in Malaysia. However, we have not received positive response or any opportunity to discuss this issue. This truly disappoints us and the whole community who would hold out hope that our children can receive this first and only treatment for children with SMA. Evidence exists supporting the effectiveness of this medication. This disease is progressive and terminal. Every day counts for these children. We simply cannot wait another two years. Children with SMA can grow up to become active citizens who can contribute to our country if they get the chance. Meet us and we can introduce you to these worthy Malaysians. The Pakatan Harapan has given us new hope that there is a pinnacle of something good and better future worth fighting for. The future is for our children. Please do not let them down. I urge you to give the children and families affected by SMA a hope that we have been fighting for. Thank you. Uh, ini ubat yang uh, belum didaftar di Malaysia dan uh, apa yang kita harap ialah uh, mendaftarkan ubat ini, Spinraza. Uh, kerana ini boleh mengawal penyakit yang tersebut SMA. Yang kedua ialah uh, support system yang uh, diperlukan untuk uh, pesakit-pesakit uh, SMA yang di uh, uh, yang diberitahu ya oleh uh, Puan Lim uh, counseling, rehab, um, social support, family support. Kita dah baru habis uh, present um, semua masalah ini kepada dalam uh, Kamakas dan harap ya Kementerian uh, Kesihatan akan mengambil tindakan. Ya, ada soalan? Um, one uh, yeah yang pertama ialah ubat ini belum di uh, daftar dan uh, kita uh, kita perlu ya yeah, uh, mencepatkan proses itu yang kedua ialah um, dia masih nak um, um, include ya yeah, um, SMA dalam uh, list untuk uh, rare diseases so in um, pada masa ini uh, belum diiktiraf sebagai rare disease di uh, Belanjawan dan juga di Malaysia. So we need to also do that process. So apakah yeah. Menteri Kesihatan sudah setuju tentang cadangan ini? Uh, mereka kata mereka akan men, uh, mengadakan satu uh, task force untuk uh, 
uh, mengkaji semula semua uh, penyakit rare diseases and hopefully uh, SMA becomes one of the important one.